I've ever pondered if the reality we perceive is just an illusion. Are we in a grand simulation akin to a video game? This might sound like a far-fetched idea, something straight out of a science fiction movie. But, believe it or not, there are serious thinkers and scientists who entertain this concept of simulated reality. This idea posits that our existence, the universe and everything we know could be part of an intricate digital simulation. Imagine a super advanced civilization, or perhaps an entity, running a simulation so sophisticated that we, as the inhabitants, are none the wiser. This is not just a whimsical notion, but a hypothesis that has sparked fiery debates among philosophers, physicists and tech visionaries alike. So, are we living in a matrix? Well, as we peel back the layers of this question, prepare for a mind-bending exploration of reality as we know it. Dive in with us as we journey into the realm of simulated realities. Before we delve deeper, it's essential to grasp what a simulated reality means. Picture this, a universe not unlike our own, existing not as a tangible physical entity, but as a digital or holographic simulation. Quite a concept, isn't it? Imagine living in a super advanced computer game where every element, from the smallest subatomic particle to the vast uncharted cosmos, is a product of intricate code. This code, as in our hypothetical game, dictates the laws of physics, the passage of team, and the very fabric of existence. In this scenario, our reality is not real in the traditional sense. Instead, it's an illusion a simulation created by an advanced civilization or a higher power. This idea isn't just the stuff of science fiction. It's a genuine scientific hypothesis known as the simulation hypothesis. Osterstalter sagt, it proposes that all of reality, including the Earth and the universe, could in fact be an artificial simulation, much like a computer simulation. This proposition might seem far-fetched, but it has gained traction among some of the brightest minds of our time. Elon Musk, the visionary behind SpaceX and Tesla, has publicly stated his belief that the odds are in favor of us living in a simulation. Philosopher Nick Bostrom, too, has argued that future generations might run detailed simulations of their ancestors essentially creating a simulated reality. While these scenarios might seem straight out of a sci-fi movie, they are rooted in our understanding of computer science, quantum mechanics, and cosmology. The idea of a simulated reality forces us to question our assumptions about the nature of existence and reality itself. Now that we have a basic understanding of simulated reality, Let's examine the arguments surrounding it. Whether we're living in a matrix or not, the exploration of these ideas is bound to take us on an exciting intellectual adventure, challenging our perceptions and expanding our understanding of the universe we inhabit. There are compelling arguments, both for and against the simulation hypothesis. Let's consider them. Supporters of the simulation hypothesis often point to physical evidence and philosophical arguments. For instance, the fine-tuning of the laws of nature suggests that our universe operates within a set of precise parameters, which some interpret as signs of a programmed reality. Additionally, the holographic principle in quantum physics which proposes that our three-dimensional universe can be projected onto a two-dimensional surface, lends credence to the idea of a simulated reality. On the philosophical side, the argument from dreaming is frequently cited. This argues that since we often cannot distinguish dreams from reality while we're in them, it's plausible that our perceived reality could also be 
an illusion or a simulation. Technological advances also contribute to the simulation argument. As we develop increasingly powerful computers and virtual reality systems, it's conceivable that future civilizations could create simulations indistinguishable from reality. However, there are also significant arguments against the simulation hypothesis. Creating a realistic simulation of the entire universe down to the smallest detail would require an inconceivable amount of computing power. It's also worth noting that there's currently no concrete evidence to support the hypothesis. We have yet to uncover any glitches in the matrix that would unequivocally prove we're living in a simulation. Philosophical objections also exist, such as the problem of the simulator. If we are in a simulation, who or what is running it? And could they too be in a simulation? This leads to an infinite regress problem, which some argue is a mark against the hypothesis. As you can see, the debate is far from settled. The simulation hypothesis is a fascinating concept that stirs our curiosity and challenges our perception of reality. Whether we're living in a matrix or not, the exploration of this idea pushes the boundaries of our understanding and invites us to question the very nature of our existence. The simulation hypothesis raises more questions than it answers. It's a fertile ground for discussion. What if we could test the simulation hypothesis? Some propose experiments that look for glitches in the matrix, much like bugs in a video game. Others suggest that finding a way to communicate with the simulators could provide proof. Yet, even if we could verify our reality as a simulation, what would that mean? Are we mere characters in someone else's game? Or do we possess genuine consciousness and free will? Moreover, would it change our moral compass if life is a simulation? Does that devalue our actions? Or should we strive to play the game to the best of our abilities? These unanswered questions serve as food for thought, sparking debates and discussions, pushing us to explore the boundaries of our understanding. These questions leave us with much to ponder. The simulation hypothesis is a fascinating concept filled with intriguing scientific and philosophical implications. From the prospect of our reality being a grand computer simulation to the notion of a holographic universe, we have explored a spectrum of scenarios. We've considered the arguments championed by thought leaders like Elon Musk and Nick Bostrom and pondered upon physical evidence, philosophical theories and technological advances that might support the hypothesis. However, we've also examined the counter-arguments, the challenges in creating a realistic simulation and the lack of definitive evidence. We've grappled with philosophical objections and the daunting question of the simulator's existence. Ultimately, the question of whether we reside in a matrix remains unanswered. But this uncertainty doesn't diminish the value of the discussion. Quite the contrary, it fuels our curiosity, encourages us to question and challenges our understanding of reality. As we continue to question the nature of our reality, we're led to a deeper understanding of ourselves and the universe. The journey indeed continues.